<sighs> All right, man, boy, this is so much easier. This is so much easier to me. I got to take care of one thing, though. I got a microphone right here. Let me do this real quick. How do I shut this off, too? Let me shut. How do I do this? That lighting's kind of jacked, right? Dude, I don't even know how to shut it off. <laughs> Let me see something, guys. That's so sad. Let's turn this way some. All right. I don't know. Yeah, we're back, dude. You know what? This whole live streaming thing to me is a bit is a bit more technology than I'm used to. And uh, if I could learn to turn the darn monitors off and some just basic stuff, things would go a lot better. I know this lighting sucks too, but um, about to roll over a cord here. God, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. I have a microphone, a lapel mic over here. It's not anywhere near me. So let me just try to put this on here and see if this helps. How is the audio now? Now I need a way to read the darn comments. Gosh, I'll read it fast. At least we can see the boards now. <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. So anyway... The parking block, like, I was really, uh, let's say, I was a little nervous going into that, but I'm sort of that guy that, that bites off those big, the audio's perfect, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, wait, I should do that one. Um, the, the block was sort of intimidating a little bit to take on. You know, I've done some, um, some crubby, uh, crubby, crubby like curb, some crummy like um, porches or like small shed, like 10 by 10 shed slabs myself, where it didn't really matter how it turned out. And obviously a skate feature, you're going to build yourself out of concrete. You want to do a pretty good job at it and get it pretty smooth. So like I was a little, a little sketched at taking it on and I knew it was going to be heavy. And here's the thing. So there's a video coming out where I skated with a friend I met um, yesterday and I haven't edited the footage yet and he had made a box a really nice box six feet though you know and mentally in my mind an ollie to a six foot box just seemed really short because I like to try to avoid the ends if I can especially you know the scenario where I like landed on that other rail I made and and uh, fractured a couple of ribs that really sucked so I got a lot of fear around that anyway, but I wanted to go eight feet and I hadn't found any information of anybody that made a parking block bigger than six feet. You know, it didn't cross my mind at the time that I could make two or three. So, I mean, that's a total option with concrete, with the same forms, exactly the same. I mean, you could butt end to end two or three up together and it'd be pretty sick, but so anyway, I wanted to give you guys my feedback on what it cost, what it spent, and if I think it was ultimately worth it, because I was contemplating, my problem is I over-designed, but I was contemplating many different kind of features, you know, a, a two foot wide box, eight inches tall, six inches tall, you know, some two inch angle iron down both sides. And then I was thinking of making, um, some boxes that had maybe two heights, you know, one height over here where I could do some like eight to 10 inch board slides if I ever got to it, you know, but then it's like, do I want, want it to be narrow enough that it's like my curb or do I want it wide enough where my, my wheels can slide? So I, I don't know that I've ever done a board slide like that in my life. So there's just so many questions. 
So anyway, I decided to go for the good, basic curb section, you know, parking block. It's really kind of shaped more like a curb, I think. I will say this in my um, previous over the last two years learning to slappy video, you guys who've sort of said I'm slappy grinding on cheater curbs, you're absolutely correct. And me trying to do it on a more legit curb, it's totally different feeling. So, you know, if you're trying to compare your first time sloppy progress to my first time sloppy progress, don't because what I'm dealing with is easier out here without a doubt, but maybe harder to pull any kind of variations or tricks off of also. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, f I feel like some of that is, is limiting. And I, I think that the people that live here that are really good skaters, that's their complaint. You know, it's, it's harder to do other variations or combos or whatever with, with these cheater curbs that we have all around Austin. And it's not to say that we don't have some legit curbs because you can find them in some of the older parts of town and uh, they are there. They're just scarier. <laughs> so um, anyway, I found a parking lot, a big, it's sort of like an overflow parking lot for like a local stadium here. And I started skateboarding in it, you know, and doing ollies, whatever. If you got your skateboard in your parking lot and it's you and your kids and we're, we're dealing with this whole shutdown, um, Cops drive through there. What are they really going to say? You know, you got to be a pretty big a-hole to tell a dad and his kids. And I know it happened out in Colorado in that park. The father playing catch with his daughter and he like got arrested or taken away. I mean, in, in, in actuality, these are more or less scary threats. But they're not going to follow up because the Constitution really does. You know, the Bill of Rights really does protect us to do that kind of thing. And I, and I know that. But so anyway, I met this buddy, this kind of new person I ran into who's who's another old guy skater and dad like me. What's up, prodigal son? Woo, what up? Um, yeah, yeah, totally. Um, but anyway, um, he brought a box out. Six foot box angle iron on two sides and then I brought my big old eight foot curb out and we're set up in this big parking lot 15 minutes of exercise fuck that dude fuck that I'm not about that like I'm like seriously ready to join the protest a little bit and show my face and and the fact that you know what I don't want anybody to get comfortable with the idea that these kind of lockdowns are okay you know, no, 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 man. That's why I'm wearing this shirt here. Um, but we first had, first off, they had some sort of event going at the stadium, right? Which should be kind of closed down. They had a kiosk open up. And so there were some cars lining up and buying tickets for something. There's the, and uh, immediately I'm like, okay, so we look like we're setting up a little makeshift skate park here in this lot. Wow, dude, Venice, did they really? Or is this just some haters out there, like those people that want to turn you in for skateboarding? And I think that's possibly what happened to us in this parking lot. Um, but anyway, first an undercover pulls up. You know, you got your Ford Explorer <laughs> with your bull bars in the front and, and the odd antennas and lights and cameras and whatever, you know. You, it, it, I pretty much knew it was, a, it was an unmarked. And then uh, he stayed there for about 10 minutes and he took off. Wow, dude. Like, I, I. Come on, man. We're skateboarding. A six foot cushion is what we're doing on a skateboard. We don't want to be any closer to anybody than that. Um, okay, so anyway, back to my story. I'm trying to read the comments here because I don't have the, the reach to the computer where the comments will stay. And here, if, if I don't read your comment, it's because they come up for a second and they disappear. He's a real gangster, huh? The guy that cleans it every morning. So anyway, not long after the undercover left, a full-on black and white pulls up. You know, he's like checking us out. 
you know, we happen to be not skating at the moment, but we've got two skate features in this big old parking lot. And he pretty much did what we expected him to do. Took a look and he just left. I mean, what are these guys really going to say? I mean, I suppose if you're somewhere where you got enough people turning you in, you know, they're probably going to be like, hey, we hate to do this. They're going to ask you to leave. Are they going to find you? No. But you know what? The longer we all just continue to sit and just let this happen, dude, it gets scarier. It, it just gets scarier. You know, this is summertime here. This isn't affecting anybody that's healthy. And it's like, you're going to shut us down for how long? Dude, I might not get my job back. You know, this is this is scarier. And I think the effects this has has on the economies could be much worse than people with, you know, some um, weakened immune systems. Like, I'm sorry about that. Like, if you're 90, you know, dude, it sucks. It really sucks. It sucks to be in this situation. But if I can't feed my kids and if I got to end up waiting in food lines because we what want it all summer? Come on. It's not the American way. This isn't. We're tougher than that here, right? I don't know. I feel like we're some real P word lately. I don't know. I know there's a lot of dudes that don't agree with me. And you know what? I hope uh, not being concerned for our freedom. Um, I hope you're right, you know. But I am a little bit. I feel like this is, I don't know. I'm just nervous. So anyway. What is this? Recommendations for aftermarket indie. Ah, oh, see, it disappeared, dude. I don't know how to get it on there. Comment disappeared. Like, I got to try to fix that. Let me try something else here real quick. Maybe I don't need this light. Let me try this. I want to read your guys' comments. So let me, let me unhook this phone charger. Let me unhook this light back here. Whoa. Let's go over this way. All right. I got to see the comments. I think that was what was so rad about the last stream that I had fun with was being able to watch the the comments coming in so that's just lame without it all right let me get this back up probably should open the window so you guys don't have to look at blinds microphone Damn ads, dude. Damn ads. Let's skip this ad <laughs> on this video. I'm not sure that the blinds there help at all. Um, okay, comment. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. There we go. I get it. I see it now. Let me go back just a little ways. Okay, much better audio. The audio is perfect. Got you live for all the content you produce. Top prodigal dudes. Um, we've been told here in the UK that we can get 15 minutes of exercise. 15 minutes. Dude, most healthy people don't consider 15 minutes even exercise. This, okay, the city did it. That's the sand in the skate park at Venice. Um, what is Venice like otherwise, man? Is Venice a ghost town or are people in Venice? I, I, I can't imagine Venice could slow down that much. So, yeah, okay. Um... Anyone have any recommendation for aftermarket bushes, bushings for indie trucks? Dude, bones. 
Bones bushings I put in everything. I love those. Let's see. Uh, the parks in Seattle are still open, but it's raining today. Seattle, right on. Yeah, South Dakota, right? They never closed anything down. No shelter in place there. I want to move there. Um, I'm not affiliated with Speed Lab Wheels, but they're offering a 15% off on wheel orders. Nice. $15, which is pretty much all their wheels in April. Dude, everybody check that out. We can afford a savings right now. Um, we can skate in New Zealand, but we can't go too far from your house. Luckily, I have a spot not far away. So what, if you're driving your car and you're like, 10 miles too far, you get in trouble or something for that. Homeless takeover. You know what? That's what they, that's what I noticed here under some of the bridges. I noticed families and more tents and then they even moved in outhouses. But since then, I haven't gone into the city too much to really see what's going on because like I'm not working. And I'm nervous, man. And I haven't gotten my stimulus check yet. Anybody else? Anybody got theirs yet? I haven't checked today, but... Thank you, Monster. I appreciate that. You got yours a few days ago. Bearded Forever, you're here in Austin, too. Like, I know who you are. I can't remember your name, though. Man, I hope it comes. It's, uh, it's getting a little scary. I mean, I don't make a lot of money anyway. We're sort of live month to month. And and uh, I work more than one job. My sideline work is dead too. So it's like, I don't have anything. Oh, you're in San Antonio. I need to get toward that direction to skate some of the parks down there. Have we met though? Bearded forever? You look familiar in your avatar. It's like, I swear I've skated with you a few times, but... Got yours on Wednesday. Not in person. Wow. I totally thought I knew you from seeing your other comments. Oh, look. So if the comments are short, I can read them right here. Um, but <laughs> we got 12-week pay out in New, York, in New Zealand. 12 week. That's good. I need to come to the skates. Yeah, you do, dude. You need to skate with me, man. Hey, that Facebook group's going pretty good. I like that. I, I, I noticed today that some other people are sharing more YouTube channels and I don't really mind that too much, but I really want the, the group to interact with like their own skate content more and I don't want it to become all advertisements because that just is lame and boring to click a link that takes you to YouTube. That's why I don't even put a lot of my stuff on there and probably won't put anything else on there. I've even thought of doing like some live chats with you guys um, and would like you guys to do that too if it's possible. I don't know. I, I assume it is, right? You could live stream to a or you could just make a video and post it to a group. I'd like to see a lot of that. I mean, having still less than 100 people, um, the Facebook group is, is kicking butt, man. I like it. Okay, let's see. The Facebook group is called, uh, I think it's PS. Does it say Prodigal Sons? Yeah, I think it says Prodigal Sons OG Skaters. Skaters with an S, like it's spelled. Um. It's a good group. Yeah, it's fun, man. I mean, what I like to see, it's to, to, to see your guys' comments on YouTube and then to see you guys skate and to see what you're working on and to know where you're at and to know who there is going to have some good advice for me or, you know, just to bank things off each other. It's the, the personal touch that the Facebook group adds is cool, but I don't want it to be about, you know, if someone has a YouTube channel and wants to sign a YouTube link at the bottom of any of their comments or something, fine, go for it. That's rad. But 
you know, to be a bunch of ads for YouTube, that would get old. And I, I'm afraid that the, the channel might lose, lose that personal touch that it has right now. Okay. Adventures in skateboarding, whose name I don't remember still. <laughs> you know, that's why I wear the, the lid, man, because when I want to recall something, I lose it. So let me read your comment finally, because I saw your avatar pop up there for a while. We received some of our tax money back, but they didn't give us our money back for our college age dependents. Over 17, right? I think 17 is where they're cutting it off. I mean, luckily, I still have three little ones, but, um, you know, they're expensive, you know, they're expensive. So if this thing goes on long, it's going to be gone fast. Bearded Forever says, I'm still recovering from a bone spur surgery. I haven't since December. Haven't skated since December. I had one of those on my knee. Apparently, it was a fracture when I was a kid, and it started a little growth, and it was right on the outside of my knee, so when I would bend, tendons would get hung up on it. And a few times, it caught. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had to have a surgery on something like that. Um, worth it though. Worth it though. Just dug my old boards out after 15 years. That sounds fun. That sounds like a YouTube video or a Facebook video for our group. Um, that's the kind of stuff us old dudes want to see. Been looking online, it's expensive to buy a good setup now. It does seem like things are getting a little a little crazier. I know for me, dude, made in China is just not cool anymore. I don't dig that and I'm not gonna support any companies that do it. I'm I'm gonna just reconfirm that my bear trucks are made in America and I think Land Land Yacht makes them and I'm gonna right american made stuff man and and i was never like it was never that important to me before now but now it's become like really important same here 100 percent, right on monster i i think we all need to be that way i mean there's plenty of info coming out that this stuff was all created in a lab in yuhan or muhan or wuhan or wherever but um F made in China. <laughs> Let's make it here. I mean, mask, gloves, cotton swab, <laughs> whatever. I mean, why can't we make everything here? I mean, I, I'm in the dental field and, and 3D printers are taking over. And I mean, it won't be long until I have a 3D printer on my counter that's going to print the hat I want to wear, you know, hook up the <laughs> hook up the right material and bingo, you got it immediately. I mean, we live in that kind of reality that nothing would shock me too much anymore. We all need to learn a lesson from this. China got us over a, over a bit. Yeah, definitely. We got to make our own stuff. I found a pair of 169 Stage 9's U.S. Indies in my garage. Yeah, the old stuff, right? Hopefully, hopefully they'll do it. But man, I see them as one of the last companies that would. I don't know. I love Land Yacht. I know the headquarters in... Ve oh, it is? But still, it's better than China. I thought that was USA. But maybe not. I know. What, what company did I see the other day that was? I know somebody mentioned Venture might be. Was it Venture? I don't remember. So anyway, so now like you guys can't see my computer, can you? If I pull something up on that. Oh yeah, you might be able to. Indies are USA. They're not made here though, right? They're manufactured somewhere else. Um, so I skated with, do you guys go to shop? I buy online. Um, in order to get to a shop even around here, it's, it's a 
quite a hike into the city. I've tried to find the shop, the local shop that we have twice and haven't even been able to find it. And he's a pretty cool dude, but, um, and he carries some stuff for OGs, some, some bowl transition type stuff, but I am honestly not found the shop. Um, so yeah, I use SoCal most of the time. I feel like tactics is a little trickier on their pricing and, and kind of trust SoCal more. Um, I have so much gear that I don't know that I ever need to buy <laughs> anything else except for what was it called? Um, a guy mentioned a board maker out of San Diego. I know another one talked about Texican, which I haven't checked out Texican skateboard yet. And I remember Lou Ross spoke about him a few times. But what was the name of that one on Instagram? Dude, there's my phone. I went and looked at this uh, board maker out in San Diego, and it's the, the name is slipping my mind right now. In my last live stream, he mentioned it in the comments. It's in the comment section. But um, he had some killer shapes. Like one of, the, one of the bowl skateboard setups had like a, had like a little divot, like a swallow tail in the deck for like tail block. Like when I saw it, I immediately thought, dude, I could tail block on pipe coping with that board. And tail block something I wanna learn. Ronald Hickman, you've mentioned tail blocks a few times. Um, I've sort of tried to tease it before, but on pipe coping with a, with a regular deck, you know, you know I'm the notch guy, right? Like I like cheater notches and things. What was the name of that board, dude? <laughs> From San Diego. Let's see that comment. All right, look, at, I missed some comments here. Um, yeah, listen, you know what? That would be. That would be. We should get uh, um, Ben DeGrasse to do that because he does, like, really good tutorial videos. <laughs> <laughs> where he likes to spend time and do a lot of research and you guys know me I just, <laughs> just spew it out right um but yeah yeah uh that would be good to know Andy Anderson's one of my favorites too I like the fact that he's wearing a helmet whether it's cool or not I I'm affected even at my age when I street skate like getting on that curb the other day like I put a helmet on and elbow pads for a little bit of it because it was just like I just didn't know what was going to happen so um it felt like the wise thing to do for a 49 you know 50 I'll be 50 in the middle of May so I got a couple more weeks left of being 49 I know I've been repping 50 for a while now but you when you get that close to such a big milestone like that you just cheat it and my wife's like why the hell you know women want to knock 10 years off and you're adding i've been calling it 50 for two years now um i order a lot of my stuff from blue tile that's right i looked at that link once you sent i just forget it it's off my radar skate shop in south carolina they make a lot of their shop brand shirts and gear in-house they have a channel, David Blue Tile. Cool. Yeah, Andy Anderson's cool. Love his style. <laughs> You're padded up snowboarding, huh? I never did that. I haven't snowboarded in a long time, but there was a few times I should have wore a helmet. There was one time I got knocked out, so I totally get it. And Michael Guerrero, what's up, dude? Haven't seen you around in a while. Skate Warehouse, I bought a couple decks from them. Skate Hut, never heard from them. Texican Skateboards, I need to check that out. So, I skated this parking lot with a guy the other day. I told you guys... Um, he brought out a feature, a six foot, I think it's a six inch tall, like an actual six inch tall. Um, what is it? A two by 12 angle iron down both sides, six feet long, six inches tall. 
And I think the downside to my curb was to Ollie 50 50 on that thing. 169 Indies just pack it in the full thing. They pack it in tight right behind the wheels. And I, I, I like, we had a good skate session, me and this guy. We had like a, a challenge. He's a, he's 36 and street skating. were definitely probably about the same level. And, um, he, uh, let's see. He got me like, I was not going to try Ollie to a 50, 50, you know, like boom on his box. I tried it on my curb. Super sketchy because of the way the wheels locked in. Where the, with the way the curb stuffed in between the wheels, it was super sketchy. And it's funny, man. I wasn't going to do it on his box at all because I was tripping out on the fact that it was only six feet long. Because if I build something, I want to build it at least eight feet long. So that's just my personal opinion. If you're going to do a DIY something or something like that to me it has to be at least eight feet i want six workable feet in the middle and if it's six feet i feel like i got four you know um so we, yeah we were brainstorming about different ideas about how to tie a couple of these things together and try to really come up with a better diy stuff because i mean this is the reality that we're all really in right now it's like how are we going to get our skating in you know and what felt nice was the fact that while a cop is parked watching me, I can grab the big candle out of my truck and, and start waxing this bar out there. And that's amazing. So what I did immediately after I had made this one, and I took the form boards off a little early. I didn't probably vibrate the, the mixture as much as I should have. You know, there were a lot of little things I rushed on just because I haven't poured concrete in years. So, but I immediately put the form back together again. I went and got a couple more bags. I used more sand. I used a little more Portland and I got it down to two 80 pound bags to do that eight foot parking block. And I really vibrated it. You know, I, I did it as good as I could. I kept it in the forms. Now it's been in there for over three days. I got an old big thick heavy duty comforter that I dampened pretty wet and put it on top just to keep it moist and let it dry out longer. <laughs> I'm going to take the forms off and uh, probably not going to paint this one. The paint gets air all over and I think I'm just going to, I'm going to, well, I'm going to paint it with clear coat and then I'm going to just wax the heck out of it because, and man, I've really realized how much wax helps, especially when you're learning. When you're when you're learning, you think you don't want to slide, but a little bit of that wax makes such a difference in like, this is the part that people that know how to do these basic beginner level tricks maybe don't remember. It's that I don't want to slide. I do want to slide. I don't want to slide out, you know. Um, a little bit of wax is good. Yeah, I, I left... I think my once I realized in that video I did, once I realized that you don't want to like try to slide and you want to just stand over the top of your board with your knees bent, it was like all of a sudden I could get a little piece and, and be like, I can see trying it again. Otherwise, I was about to shut down, you know. Um, it's kind of funny that I'm such a beginner, but I share that stuff online. And, and you know, it's because... No matter who you are and no matter what level you skate at, there's going to be people who resonate with what you're talking about. The people that are at your level where it's sort of debilitating mentally to think about getting on wheels. You know, my, my boss at my boss at work one time saw me standing on a on a lab chair, you know. <laughs> Look, <laughs> with wheels like that. And uh he like got all freaked out, you know, because of his, his insurance. And, and I was like, yo, I ride wheels. <laughs> I'm the least likely person in this office to, to slide out. But, you know, once we start thinking about a curb or a 
bank or, you know, something like that, then the brain checks out and, and you just, you can't see it through. So for me, making a DIY is trying to eliminate some of that fear and give myself the most easy possible situation so that I can try it once, right? And if I try it once, that's my thing. <laughs> Skating a lab chair, right? Ooh, viral video right there. I mean, I really wanted to get one of those. If someone has a lot of money, send me a ripstick. I really want to learn to take a ripstick. Not, not, the, not the regular ripstick, dude. Those look stupid. Um, what's the surfboard one called? If, if, if somebody has not lost their job and still making good money, and can afford to send me one. I've, I've wanted one of those for the last year and a half to learn to skate it on my channel in the bowl. I want that like super bad. I just, I can't, I can't afford to pop the money over to that, especially now. Um, now I lost my train of thought. But let me see, let me read some comments here. I'm probably going to do a tutorial for an Ollie North. No complaint. Dude, I would appreciate that. We were looking at, um, uh, my friend yesterday was looking, uh, he, he was trying some no comply. And I mean, when he said the trick, like I know what no comply kind of looks like, but I know there's a ton of variations of it. But I, in my mind, I, I can't think of the most simplest one to do or how to do it. And even with him showing me, it was like I couldn't get my foot off the board and even, even do the ollie. But that's always the beginning for me. And, 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 you know, for you other guys that are, are maybe like sketched to try something new, you just got to half-ass it once. Like you got to get yourself going in the direction of like, I'm going to give it a shot, you know, no matter what it is, I even, even going faster. Um, did you happen to catch that, uh, Bam Margera video on Instagram this morning? The, the hill bomb video, dude, like that was. There's so many skaters that do some nuts stuff, man, that I, I wish, I wish I was 18 again. And, and, uh, I mean, with social media, like with always filming yourself, I would love to have my youth and fully be able to blast like some ridiculousness. Um, let's see. Look like your curve came up. Perfect. Thank you. Really happy with it. So I told you guys, I, I, I did another one. So I'm going to try taking both to the same parking lot and pop them end to end. And then I'll end up having 16 feet a curb. And uh, that should be pretty fun for board slides, nose slides. Um, that tail slide, I know I didn't do it even close. That would be called a sloppy tail slide or it's sort of like a nollie, right? I'm just kind of doing like a little I had that in the day and I know I'll get it again and you know it's funny here's something else funny about that parking block and about how heavy it is so when I did the first shove it video I ended up slipping out and I and I didn't fall but I I ended up like compressing a disc or something in my lower back at least that's what it felt like like something got pinched back there um and it hurt like hell the next day, a couple days. And then yesterday, as I'm like bringing the parking block back out, and someone said, I think, I, I think it was uh, Ronald Hickman said, I think that would like start some kind of back problem that he's walked away from, or maybe he has some, uh, some peace from it lately that might make it rage up again. And it dawned on me that I had a pain like, in the back, like in the love handle area on one side, when I brought that parking block out to skate with that dude yesterday. And I realized when I was unloading the brick that part of the angle like fired, man. So it's heavy, but it's doable. And it's like everything else, your body gets used to the new behaviors you're putting it through, i.e., lifting the big ass parking block out of my truck, you know, um, I'll get better at that. My body will get used to those turns. You know, 
I skated through it, you know, and I was in a lot of pain. So in the next video you guys see where I'm skating with this guy, I'm leaving his name out just, just in case he wants, he cares about that. So, um, yeah, I was in a lot of, I was actually in a lot of pain doing the shavits and stuff, but you know, some of those pains, like if it was the disc thing, I, I probably would have maybe skipped, but it wasn't that. So I feel like a lot of that stuff I can skate through and, Okay, I see that Michael Guerrero made a kicker ramp. Dude, why don't we bring that to the parking lot, dog? I want to jump off a kicker ramp. Like, I was going to make one of those, too. Those were fun back in the day. I had one of those in high school. And uh, I was never much of a good grab artist at anything. So when I did them, I did ollies. And I think I... I feel like I did a 180 off of one of those things before, but I, I can't recall. <laughs> it might have been a dream maneuver. I don't know. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Carver boards have the surf fill in the bowls. Dude, I want to try those. And I know some guys around here have them. Dude, can you put one in your car? And if you happen to see me out there, you could let me try it. I'd like to try it. I think the trucks on those are like 200 a piece, aren't they? It's outside my uh, my level right now of e molder. My four foot parking block was super heavy, and I used a dolly to move it all around. It was that the one that was bigger? I think one of you guys mentioned you had done a parking block that was a lot bigger. And you know what? Super heavy is like if you're trying to carry it. Like I can imagine a four foot parking block, you could probably get it up on your on your quads and, and maybe kind of muscle it around to carry it. Like, like my parking block, no one's doing that, you know? But it's real easy to put the handle on one end and, you know, move it 10 feet, swing the other end, move it 10 feet. It's pretty easy to pick it up waist high and drag it. Like I could drag it 30, 40 feet if I had to, no problem. It really comes down to where you're going to skate with it and if you can back up to it. And But, you know, dr dragging it 20, 30 feet isn't even worth moving my truck. Uh, I'm going to drag it. It's, it's not that hard. Where it gets hard is if you're going to try to lift it up and, like, spin it over onto your tailgate. I mean, you might feel that a little bit. Or if you're going to, like, pick it up waist high, you got to put a little effort into that. But... I, I would fully recommend, I mean, to me and going through all the things I wanted to build, to me, the parking block was the safest build. It was like, I got board slides, no slides, tail slides, and I can keep it low. Mine's five and a half inches tall. It's five and a half inches at the top, five to five and a half inches at the top, which I probably would have made four inches. If I could do it over, I'd probably do four. It's 90 on one side, and then it's what, slightly angled, not much at all. Like, there's that broken hand. <laughs> um, and eight feet, eight feet's key. I mean, I, if, if I was going to know ahead of time that I was going to build two of these things, I would probably go six feet, and I'd have two. So if... If I'm one of you guys and you, you know, you've got the construction background or you're good at tutorials on YouTube, build a form, make a six footer, pour it up twice, do that. That would be epic. If you had 12 feet, epic. Eight foot, if you're going to do one, eight foot is awesome. You know, so I'll, I'll probably end up taking this thing out to the skate park and maybe like film a curb session with who's ever out there and, and wants to hit it. I think that'd be kind of a fun video to do and uh, try to get out there when like Dylan's there or somebody locally that just can rip curbs because it's one of the raddest things that I like to watch as far as YouTube videos go is just some like super steezy sturbs, curb skaters. Um, let's see. Do you guys mind if I make a tutorial in polish and subtitles it and put subtitles to it? I don't know what you're talking to. Send me a message there. Um, I'm not really sure what you mean. And post it to the Facebook group. 
Yeah, that would be cool. Um, all good, friendly dog. I like reading. I wish I had put holes through it. Oh, are you talking about my? Uh, are you talking about my how-to video? Because yeah, I did video the process of making it as much as I could, and I even um, recorded a lot of footage from the second attempt on things I tried to do better. And I paid more attention in that video to the mixture that I used because I tried to get an eight, uh, two 80 pound bags to work. So I did mix more um, Portland cement and more sand. I used a, was it 50 pound bag of sand? 20 pound? I don't know. I gotta look at that. It's in the video though. That's why you record those things because I'll never remember, man. Um, I'm gonna roll out to the DIY now. Right on, dude. Hit that angle iron. And let's see that. First thing when I saw that video, I was like, dude, that's a rad piece of angle iron. Somebody should bolt that down so it doesn't get jacked. <laughs> because, uh, I mean, with all this going on, that might be in someone's side yard, you know? Um, Oh, Polish. Oh, I get it. Polish language. Yes. Yeah, man. Um, does YouTube do that too? Seems like I've seen, seen a link somewhere where you can, I don't know. I don't know, man. Listen, I can barely get the stream going on OBS. Obviously, I failed at that today, so I don't know how that stuff works. But I think for, for, um, I don't know. There's some good tutorials on YouTube on making these bricks. I mean, I basically, I basically copied what I saw as far as putting the handles in. That was brilliant. If you didn't have the handle holes in these things, you're doomed. You're not moving this guy. But that's what I like about it too. When 225 pound a guy hits it, it stays pretty set. And I mean, that's one other fear factor. When skating any other kind of DIY thing or even one of these rails you buy from some um, skate company, it's like, is this thing going to tip over? Like, I want to go out and drill some holes into the blacktop and, and put some studs in <laughs> and bolt everything down, even at a temporary spot, just because I don't want to tip it over on me, man. I don't need to worry about all that, right? So, anyway... If you guys don't know the Facebook group, if you're on a desktop and I think you go on my YouTube channel, there's like a, a Facebook link in the upper top up by the banner. And then I think if you go on the about page too, there might be a, might be a link to the Facebook group. But um, yeah, I'd like to, I, I want to build something else. So that's kind of why I'm kind of trying to bring the topic up with you guys too. Like what would you build? Or have you built something already that you know is a win? I personally think this parking block idea is a win. If you got a truck, do two six-footers, and you're in heaven. Not only that, but I can take my eight-footers, and I can put some, some bricks underneath them. I can turn around and jack it up so that I can now start to learn to ollie into a board slide. Ollie into a no slide, tail slide. Um... And yeah, I'm psyched on that. There's uh, something funny that happened in this next video that I'm going to get out um, probably for tomorrow morning. I'm probably going to break the skate session into two or three different short videos. Um, and one of them was we were trying to ollie. So this dude's 36. You know, I'm 49 and 0. 0.99. <laughs> um, but we were trying to ollie this parking curb I made just sideways. And I always kind of like to face front side and have a little bit of a front side angle. But I keep my ollie pretty straight. I'm not really trying to turn it because I need the extra space. However, I probably ollied it 10, 15 times. And for whatever reason, I'm landing. Either my wheel's hitting the top, I'm rolling off, or my tail's slapping the curb, okay? So I'm about 225. I'm outweighed by this other guy by a few pounds. A few pounds. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you the number, but it's a few pounds. Um, it's a little bit. 
Dude, he was popping ollies with no pop and clearing the curb, clearing it. No pop. His tail was not hitting. He started tripping on that. Like, here I am getting pop. I mean, I'm using my Grosso deck. So I'm riding a uh, 9.25 wide deck, a longer wheelbase, probably an inch longer wheelbase, and uh, Indy 169s. He's riding 149s and an 8, what do you say, uh, it was an 8.5 deck with like probably a 14 and a quarter, 14 and a half wheelbase, something like that maybe. And he's getting over that block with no pop, and I can't get over it with good pop and speed like Dude, I was tripping on that, like tripping. So anyway, um, I don't know if you guys can post YouTube videos in the comments section and not have YouTube ding you for it, but if you can, and there and and there's like, you know, the level that I skate at as far as street skating goes. So it's beginner. If you guys uh, could post the link to a video of the right feature, because I got okay. So I want to learn to do board slide where where my wheels. Okay, say <laughs> say that's my ledge, where my wheels are gonna touch the top of the ledge. Like you know where if I don't have the ollie to do like a 50-50 grind on it, because that's a problem I have at every skate park right now. I want to do 50-50 grind, ollie, 50-50 grind, and out. But it's like everything is seems to be a foot or more. And I, I just, I'm sketched out on getting that box jump shinner, you know? Like, I don't want that to happen. If it's too low, I mean, you know, I got all kinds of demons in my closet. You guys know. You guys, you guys all, if you're watching my channel, you know. Um, I appreciate all the active users and subscribers who like rip who are on here that can that can help us all and especially that's what's good about the facebook group we have a couple guys in there like um handy with shovels he posts some super epic stuff dude i i was telling this guy yesterday about your what is it your uh slappy nose grind Slappy nose. Is it a crooked grind? I don't know. Where you just ride up and just get on your front truck. Like, how simple you make that look. I can't even bring myself to make the shot of doing it. So, but I appreciate your effort in trying to help me do that. Got to go. Catch you later. See you later, Chris. Yeah, I'm about to head out too. I'm just going to check over the comments and see what I missed. Probably spend another hour talking, talking about one. But uh, I want to go skate too. Um, Polish language. Okay, yeah, we went over that. One thing I did with mine was set some rubber pieces into the bottom so it didn't slide. Yeah, that's ideal. I noticed on one of these parking block videos, I saw them put like some old vans in the bottom so that it had some rubber sole to probably keep on it. If you were going to do a, a smaller parking block, my parking block's big enough and heavy enough you don't need anything under. But yeah, rubber is a great idea. Oh, I want a Grosso. Dude, I got so many Grossos. I think uh, everybody should go out and buy some Grosso decks right now, man. I, I just, I think about Oliver, man, his young son. He's like a, a I think he's a little bit younger than Killian, but that that gets me dude that gets me hard i mean skateboarding with my kid i think about that you know and at least at least for oliver's sake at least he's surrounded by a great community of like really rad skateboarders you know if that i mean there's there's i don't know what what do you say about that but he'll, he'll always have like the raddest skateboarders around him. I mean, having his dad like Grosso, but that's where I feel it. You know, when, when I think about the relationship I have with my kids skateboarding and I think about that, I just feel sad and I feel lucky at the same time that I'm still around. I mean, you know, Grosso was 51, man. <sighs> Heavy. 
But yeah, let's all send the prayers out to the family there. They can keep it on even ground. I'm, I just, I can't imagine going through something like that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to check out now. Um, I'm going to work with this OBS. If you see a stream come up later today or something, don't take it serious. <laughs> I'm probably just going to be screwing around with this thing. I hate to hit that go live button just to see what happens with it. Because, uh, you know, I, I don't need to look like any more of a dumbass than I already do, you know? You know what I mean? So, all right, guys. Take care. Get out there and skate, dogs. I mean, we can't be staying in all the time. Practice that physical distancing. Stay away from people. I ain't wearing a mask. Uh, I want to breathe. I want fresh air. Sun. Sun's good. Sun's healthy. Like, I really debate some of the things they want us to do. I don't know. But anyway, I know it's a sensitive room sometimes. And I got to be careful about what I say. I'm, I'm one of those. But anyhow, I, I want to get out and skate. I'm going to go skate right now. And I'm probably going to lift that big A brick into the back of my truck because it rained last night. And I didn't want my truck filling up with water. I've been leaving that thing in the back of my truck. And I know, I know. You definitely don't want to get in a crash with that thing. I mean, it's like having a missile in your car, right? The back of my Toyota is like plastic. You know, I fear if you hit something hard enough that you could send a missile right through the cab of your vehicle. So I don't want that sliding down the road ever. But anyway, guys. Peace out. Love you all. And we'll see you later. All right. Adios. Let's hit that button. Wait, do we get a comment? Yeah, go to the curb later. Adam, get it, dog. Right on, man. Later, guys.